welcome back. Evan Daly here coming at you with another Unity Quick Tip. So in this one I want to show you how you can easily create a sequence of varied bullets. So right here I have a low poly rifle, I have a weapon script attached to it, and basically the way the weapon script works is there is a muzzle on the weapon which is just an empty game object out here facing forward from the weapon. Um, so we have a reference to that and we're just going to create bullets at the muzzle position with the muzzle rotation. And the bullets that we're creating, we're just drawing those from an array. And so we have a, a an array called bullet prefabs. It's public and it's just containing game objects. If I go back to my inspector, I can select that. And right now that array is empty. So it, it's a size zero and there's no, no bullets contained there. And uh, just just to be a little bit more thorough, um, I also have variables called fire rate and fire cooldown. And so when the user presses the left mouse button, if the time is greater than fire cooldown, we set fire cooldown a little bit into the future. And so whatever fire rate is, um, that's just how often we're going to be able to create bullets. And then this line um, essentially iterates through the array. So we start at the beginning, go to the end, and then wrap around to the start again. Um, so that's all That's all the code for the gun. And then the bullets themselves actually have a projectile script that just launches them forward as soon as they're created. So now I want to create some bullets. And so for that, I have a bullet prefab in my project. And there's a projectile script, which um, as soon as the bullet is created, it shoots forward with a force of 200. And then there's also an attached rigid body, and that's what's giving it the... Um, the ability to have mo momentum and collisions and stuff like that. Um, so I duplicated this seven times, so I just have one bullet replicated seven times, and then I have an eighth bullet, and this one has an attached light, and that's just going to have sort of a red shine coming off it. And so now if, um, I want to give all of these to this array. Now I could do this manually, drop them in one by one, uh, but that's, that's going to take too long, so I just want to select everything and drop it on. So to do that, I'm just going to grab the weapon, lock my inspector, and now I can select all eight bullets and just drop them into the bullets prefab. So now if I hit play, we have this. Now let's say um, I, like, I like this setup, but I also want to try out some different colors. So I'm just going to set this back to zero. I have a second folder of bullet prefabs. And now, now I just have a bullet with a black material and a bullet with a purple a HDR material. And I think I want to attach a light to the second bullet. Uh, my inspector is still locked, so I'm going to unlock that. And actually, I do have the light here, and I'll just give it a purple color. Range 15 is fine. And again, I have my projectile and rigid body scripts. So now I can click on the weapon lock it, and just select both of these and drag them here. Now when I hit play, we should have a completely different bullet type. And again, if I think that there's too much pink or too much black, um, I can just select the bullet light prefab, drag back the intensity, lower the range of the light, and I can also duplicate these black bullets so that the light bullet is only like every sixth bullet. And so that's just a really easy, really fast way to try out different um, weapon patterns. So I hope this was useful, and I'll see you guys next time.